today I'm going to show you what I got earlier this week from Goodwill and from Dollar Tree. So it's gonna be all mixed up, but I'll let you know what came from where. Got these sponges from Dollar Tree. These are to be used with my crafting. I found some ribbon finally in the Christmas section that I like that coordinates with what I have going on. I got two of these pet scarves. These are, I think this is a, they have different sizes, but they're not marked in a size. No, they're not marked as sized, but they have large and then they have little bitty ones too. So I got this one, which is the black and white. And I got this one, which is red and white. My dog will shred these up if I try to put them on her. So this is not for that. These are gonna be used for crafting. So it's a good little piece of fabric to craft with. I got these ornaments. Now look, at first glance, these are terrible, right? But I've got an idea of how I can fix these to make them look better. So when I do that, I will share that with you. Because underneath, if you look at the bones of it, it's a nice little ornament, but it's just, it's muddy and messy and you can't tell what it says and it's just, it needs some work, but I think I can love it back to life. I got another strand of the Berry Garland in white because I've used up my other one. A cookies for Santa plate for my children. Well, I just noticed this one's got some nicks in it. Darn it. I could probably take it back to Dollar Tree, but you know, I don't think Santa's gonna care as long as he gets his cookies. And these were not with the other dishes. These were just on the aisle with some more of the Christmas decorations. This pick came from Dollar Tree. And I really like that it has no glitter on it other than the fallout from other items. But it's just wood. It looks very, I mean, you could use it just like this if you wanted to. You wouldn't have to do anything to it. But I like Frosty. I like the sign. I got a stocking. We have a family member whose name starts with a C, so I'm gonna be making a stocking this year for that person. All right, I got a couple of these placemats. And there you go, it says fiber placemat. They're 12 by 18. Not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with these yet, but they are not going to be used as placemats. So just two of those. And I also got six of the saucer size plate that says tis the season that match this set but that's upstairs so i can't show you that and i will be using that for christmas but this is not going to be on the table I'm going to use this for something else i found this flannel back tablecloth and i'm pretty sure the front that it is plastic but i'm not definite yet but i thought this could give me some options for crafting also and it's 52 inches by 70 inches so it's a good size. Oh, we'll, we'll see what I can do with that. I got a bunch of boxes. Yeah, um, I usually use bags for Christmas, but the boxes were so gorgeous. Whatever I don't use to craft with is going to be used most definitely under my tree. So there's one design. And these are the, this is a four piece box and then it has the plaid this is Happy Holidays, and then let's see. Let's open this up. Okay, so we have Happy Holidays. Ooh, that one's pretty. Greetings. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look what was hiding in there. Okay, so here are the bottoms. And then this one. Oh, and the sides are. Oh, they're even continue to. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine? Oh yeah. Gonna be crafting with some of these for sure. Oh my God. I'm too excited over a box, right? Anyway, you've seen me do crafts with boxes before, so you're gonna be seeing me do some more. And then we have this one, and it actually says 8.2 inches by 6.9 inches by three inches. So it's a pretty good versatile box here. So this one says Merry Christmas. This one says, let's see what it says. Is the season. If you have kids that peek into the bags all the time, these boxes are pretty versatile. They used to just be, I think, shirt boxes. Um, now you can get all kinds of boxes of all sizes. You can even, Dollar Tree also has the boxes that you could use for like wine bottles. It's pretty crazy. So this one says, Tis the season. 
Happy Holidays. My mother likes Blue Christmas, so there's an option for her. Season's Greetings. Oh yeah, these are nice. And then this one says Merry Christmas. Oh, look at all the nice little options. Poinsettias, and then this one has Peace, Love, and Joy. And let's see, it's three piece. And these are 11 by eight by 1.25. Aw, oh, tis the season. Wow, see this is what's on that plate that I got and it matches this tablecloth. Look at that. Okay, and then here's some more boxes. This one says, let it snow. And this one is winter. Let's see what it says. Winter wishes. And these are the big, like a, I guess you could call it a shirt box or sweater box, robe box. It's two pieces in here, so. We have this one and this one. And then this one says Merry Christmas. It's got the gold deer and it's got Santa and sleigh on this side. And then this one says Merry and Bright. So this is a larger one. And here is the, the smaller one. Wouldn't that look nice under the tree? If you just like a kind of a black and white and red theme, that'd be really pretty. Not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet, but we'll see. Alrighty, so here are the bags. Happy holidays. It's got some glitter on there, and that's, you know, not really my thing, but that's okay. And I like the picture, it's just nice. We got a tree over here with some ornaments on it. That's really nice. Ah. Okay, and on this side, there's no glitter on there, so actually, that would be nice as a sign as well. And then have yourself a merry little Christmas. That's very pretty. And then there's no glitter on this side, and this is like a foil, and so it's plain and matte on that side. Then we have Merry Christmas with the sleigh and the barn. So pretty. And the little string of lights, that's a nice touch. And then there it is, plain on that side. This is glittery. Look at the fallout. Ugh. And then this bag says joy to the world. And this is really pretty too. This is similar to the, the other ones that, yeah, the other black and white theme, like the merry and bright. Except this, it looks like it has some snow on it or a more aged look. So that's pretty. And it's, foil on this side and on this side it's white. These would be, these would all be gorgeous under the tree. Just look at that. Obviously some of them match better than other ones, but look at that variety. That's a lot of wrapping material. Window clings, you can use these in decorations. You can use these to make decor for your home. See, look at that, there's a, a Volkswagen bug and it's got a tree on top, and then here's your truck with a tree, then all these little trees and snowflakes are individual. That's really cool, 18 pieces on there, and I had to mangle it to get it off. That's all right. Okay, I got three of these eight by 10 frames. These are the matted frames. When you get these frames, um, because these work really well with these types of things, when you get these frames, be sure that you look right on the inside here. Sometimes there'll be a bunch of those little white tabs where they're like, you know, where they pull them out and you can see the little tabs. Just trim that down to give it a more finished look. It's gonna make it look so much more high end if you do that. And these frames can be painted if you wanna paint them. Um, and you could actually even paint your mat if you wanted. And so I got three of them and they're all the same, but the picture is different in this one. And I found one more pack of boxes hiding in there amongst the picture frames. So this one actually shows you, it's got all hearts come home for Christmas, Merry Christmas, and may your Christmas be merry and bright. So, oh heck, let's just go ahead and open it. We've opened the rest of them. I'm loving this. This may be my favorite. Look at that. There's that little truck. And then this one has a little wagon with cut and carry, and a little bird. 
If you like traditional or cardinals, this is really cute. And then on the back side, we have the little trailer, the little RV, whatever you call this, camper. Yeah, may your Christmas be merry and bright. Let's see, I got these from Goodwill and there are two of them. They are canvas, <clears throat> they're 16 by 20. I got two of them. One of them I am taking apart for a project that I am doing for you guys with the candy cane bag. And this is my other one. This picture frame, I like it. I like the finish of it, even though that's probably gonna be something I'm going to paint because it's not exactly, it's not exactly my style. There's a mat in there. Even though this is broken, I'm not real worried about that um, because I have plenty of pieces of glass that I can use for that. A distributed by Michaels. Okay, so this came from Michaels store. But it looks like a good frame, a good quality frame. So I'll be using that to do some crafting. Excuse the crumpling sound. This says Charleston Wrap, but this is a gift wrap organizer. And this is something that I got. Um, I got two of these new in the packages from Goodwill. Um, so let's see what it looks like. Right now, all of my gift, my gift wrap is in a tub in like one of those Rubbermaid containers, but it takes up so much room and they don't lay flat, so I don't like that. Oh, okay, I see. All right, let's see. So it looks like this. Has a handle and a zipper top. Let's see, where's the zipper? Oh, and it also has a handle here on the end. That's nice, I could hang it in the closet. Where's the end? Oh, there it is. Let's see how it looks on the inside. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's good. That will work. It's got a little pocket here you could put something in. And then over here, it actually has the straps so you could lay them down here and then just close it back up with all of your stuff on the inside of it. That is nice. I like that. You can also slide it down. This is a, this is a pocket. So you can put your paper down in here and you can put the stuff on the outside. Zip it back up and hang it. Yes, you gotta love Goodwill. My Goodwill has changed the way they do things recently. They have decided that rather than charging 79 cents a pound for anything that is not fabric, with an exception of a couple of things, that they are going to do fabric and regular stuff together. Everything is $1.79 a pound, up to 40 pounds, I believe, and then it goes down to $1.49 a pound. I also got a box of, they are like Jenga blocks, if you can see that in there. And these are good for using, um, using the wood pieces for um, crafting as supports, and you can use them for frames and that sort of thing. I like the ones from Dollar Tree because they don't have the, they don't have this embellished in the side. Because if even if you paint this, this is gonna show. You're gonna see that in there, the branding, so. Um, but it'll work, you know. You can find uses for it, for sure. They'd definitely be good for lots of crafting options. I also got this box. It says Farm Fresh Christmas Trees. It's got the little truck on it. It needs, it's kind of rubbed off here, but I can fix that. Um, and it's plain on this side if I wanted to use it that way. But this will be cute. I'm thinking maybe put some pine trees in here. I got this, y'all look at this. Now can you believe this? You know how much these bags cost? That's a 31 bag. Uh, they're kind of pricey. I have to tell you, they're kind of pricey. But this is a really cute little crafting bag. I can put my scissors. I can put glue sticks in there. Whatever I want to do, and I'm not entirely sure yet what I'm going to do with it, but I know it's going to be for sure crafting. that you come back and see what we're going to do with all of this stuff? Because we're going to have lots of nice projects. And crafts so you can go out and get your supplies so we can do this together bye